what's going on guys today we've got a super quick tutorial here we're going to learn how to create this 3d effect this is great for music videos or really any kind of social media content that you're making you can make your subjects pop out of the screen i recently noticed they use this effect in the video for rumble by skrillex and i think it's really really engaging it's really subtle it's something that it just adds a lot of uh, production value in my opinion without going too over the top with effects so without further ado, let's get into how I would go about doing this. First things first, you're gonna have your clip here and uh, this is just a clip from a music video that I filmed and we're going to basically just export this clip and then we're going to put it into an AI software called runway.ai. The link for that's gonna be in the description of this video. Just for tutorial's sake, we're not going to export this in any 10-bit or any ProRes. It's just gonna be a normal video file and I'm just gonna export this to my desktop and then we will throw it into the AI software where it will technically just rotoscope out the subject and you'll be left with uh, just your subject as if it was shot on a green screen. All right, so now we're over here in runway.ai. I've signed up just using Google, it was very easy and you can do a free trial, which unfortunately only gives you 720p exports, but for sake of this tutorial, we'll stick with that. Once you've got your clip imported, all you'll do is simply click around on your subject and the AI will do the rest of the work and pretty much understand where your subject is and you know how to keep track of it. Um, throughout the entire clip. So now I'm going frame by frame and we can see how good of a job this is doing, literally just going frame by frame here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and play the video and then you can sort of go in, you notice here, it's missed it on this frame. So we can go in and re-click his head and body and it just sort of understands, okay, now it gets that this is where the subject is, right? I think this is an especially difficult example for the AI to use because this clip has a lot of movement, the subject's wearing all black, and it's not really that well lit of a scene, and it's just, you know, it's a messy clip to use, but even though it's messy, it's still doing a pretty freaking good job, as you can see. I think the part where it's gonna struggle with most is his dreads. And as you can see, certain times you're going to have to go in and correct it. I think this will be more so the case on a more difficult clip like this one that has lots of movement. All right, this is looking pretty good. I'm going to say done masking. All right, so now that you have your green screened out subject here, the next thing we're going to do to make this look even better is go over to effects and filters and scroll down to brightness and contrast. And you're going to go to the effect settings and brighten it all the way. Next, we'll go up top and click export. As I said before, the free version only gives you 720p. That's fine for now. Go over to the assets page and wait for it to be done. All right, so once it is done, we will download this. Once our download is complete, we'll, of course, bring this back into Final Cut. Next, what we'll do is, of course, grab our keyer, drop it straight on here. Then we'll go up to generators, grab a black generator, and put it right in between these two clips. Now what we'll do is combine these into a compound clip. We will then hold option and just drag up to duplicate this bottom clip. Now all we'll do is go over to our top clip, select the blend mode as stencil luma. So we are now showing through to our subject and combine these two into a compound clip. So now you should have your subject and you can do whatever you want with the background. So now to make our subject pop out of the screen, all we're going to do is take our background and simply crop it to our liking. So you'll notice I've cropped out the left and right sides at about 600 from either side on the left and right. And I think later on in the clip, I'll do the same thing, but from the top and bottom. Let's see what that looks like. So starting on his point right here, because he's going to point at the camera a couple of times, I'm going to go ahead and make a keyframe at both of these crops. At the first point, I'm going to make the sides go to 300. And I'm going to actually go ahead and make keyframes at the top and bottom. And we're going to make the top and bottom go to 300 at this point in time. Or actually, we will say 200. So we have a little less to work with there. 
It's pretty cool. Look at that. Just before the next point, we'll put keyframes on all those. And then as the next point finishes, we'll have the left and right crops go back to how it was. Normal, right? Crop at zero. And we'll have these go to 400. How about that? Let's play that back. That's pretty cool. So then how about as he sort of moves back, we'll have the frame sort of move back with him, right? So right as he's about to move back, we'll put some keyframes at our crops on the bottom clip. Go over to once he's moved back like that and put these back to zero. And then how about starting right when he's about to move over, we'll go back to having it cropped from the left and right. So now that he's shifted his body that way, we'll put these back to, we had him at 600 crop. Let's play that back. And then how about as he's lifting up his hands right here, we'll go to the bottom. Well, we'll do all of them. And as he lifts up his hands, now they're totally lifted up. We'll crop these back to 400 and these back to zero. And lastly, how about as he's about to make that last gesture with his hands right here and we'll just make it bounce back to what it was. So there you have it. That's pretty much the 3D popping out of the screen effect, whatever you want to call it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please leave a like for the algorithm. It really helps me uh, spread these editing tutorials out to everyone who I think they could help. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more cool, simple editing tutorials just like this one. Although I am pretty geared towards Final Cut, you don't have to be a Final Cut user to get some value out of the stuff I'm gonna be teaching. I think a lot of this stuff will apply across different editing softwares. So if that's you, give me a subscribe, leave me a comment down below and let me know what sort of tutorials you wanna see next. Thanks so much for watching and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you